Good morning, everybody in uh, the U.S. and uh, good evening to all my Vietnamese friends. Uh, welcome back to uh, day three of uh, of our journey, and uh, thank you for uh, for joining us for supporting this program. And uh, just a uh, a quick introduction. Um, this is the uh, the program that uh, we put together so that uh, we uh, would have an environment to uh, practice English and also to uh, share this uh, uh, great information with all of our friends um, around the world because, you know, most of the world are speaking in English and uh, it is almost like a, a responsibility uh, of, uh, of ours to, uh, to spread this amazing knowledge to uh, spreading love and kindness and uh, especially uh, providing the tool needed to acquire what truly important in life so uh, once again thank you very much for uh, for, jo for joining us i uh, very much appreciate it i know that it is uh, the new years everybody have a lot of things that they needed to do especially uh, in our community you know everyone is busy having their final and the project done and uh i very much appreciate you joining us and uh, i can feel i can tell that uh you know how important it is not just for uh, yourself not just for myself but for uh, for the entire world and uh so let's get started thank you thanks again for uh, for joining us and just a quick recap for for uh, all my friends who wasn't be wasn't here on day one, I am going to uh, to just quickly uh, recap on um, what we did on day one and day two, because the information that um, we are going over today is very very important and um, it has a uh, huge connection to the first two uh, days. So during the first uh, the first day of of this program, we uh, we went over the uh, thank you uh, Jesse yeah but anyway for the uh, the first day uh, we went over the six barriers and uh, it is super important to to understand the six barrier because in life there are things that we want to do but we are unable to and that stopping us from achieving what we truly want in life therefore it is super important to to understand this and um the thing is when and i mentioned this in the first day too but it is so important that i would like to to mention it again because you know when you have an idea in your mind it is actually very very important because you thought of it that means you want it that means it is very, very necessary. And if we are not careful, if we are allowing the six barriers stopping us from materialize that, we might miss something very important in life. Therefore, having a clear and deep understanding of the six barrier, it will, uh, it will allowing you to not only helping yourself, but also help others and the story that I share during that day was the story of Mr. Roger Bannister. He was able to run one mile under four minutes. He was able to accomplish something that the entire world did not believe in. For hundreds of years, nobody was able to do it. And uh, all the uh, scientists, all the doctors, they, they even try to prove that it was impossible for the human body to to run one mile under four minutes but he was able to do it and shortly after that thousand of a professional athlete was able to not only achieve the same thing they actually broke his record and uh, it's created a very strong foundation for many things to come and similarly everyone we are so blessed with this information. We have our transformation. 
And um, through this, we will be able to show our family and loved one, first of all, and secondly, everybody in our community that they can make that change as well. They can acquire the knowledge needed to take control of their life, to be able to acquire or achieve things that they uh, they deserve, things that they truly wanted. And um, that is the lesson for the sixth barrier. And uh, if you missed the first two days, I would highly, highly recommend you to uh, to go to our YouTube channel to re-listening to it. There's a lot of great information uh, on there because there, there was like interaction and through those interactions, we we have a, a better understanding of all of these principles. And um, during this um, Zoom call, I would um, recommend everyone to to raise your hand to ask a question if you if you have a question, because your question is very important. As I mentioned earlier, once you have an idea in your mind, it is very important to to say it out loud, to materialize it. And you know what other other friends in the Zoom might be able to, to learn from, from your question as well. Okay. And uh, for the second day, the second day is when uh, we uh, went over the uh, the principle of light, which, uh, which was what we did yesterday. The principle of light, contrary to the sixth barrier, it is a principle that allowing us to uh, to use a tool to get what we uh, to to find a way. It's like a beginning. It's like a beginning to to find a way to light up the dark room and. Um, and uh, yesterday, Jasmine asked a, a very, a very important question. She uh, she shared that uh, each day, you know, she she would ask a question: Do I want to be happy, or do I want to be sad? And that was such a great question because it is like a light sweep from a uh, in the dark room. You know, let's say if you walk into a dark room, you want to turn the light on. You will turn the switch on, right? So that it will light up. So question like that has a very obvious answer is that we all want to be happy. So by asking that question, we literally turning the switch on and um, we will find a way and we will be able to, to truly find that happiness in the case of Jasmine. And uh, from then we, uh, we also go over the the four category of all of the uh, the problem or the thing that we like to accomplish in life. If we were to simplify it, it will fall under four category. It will be the inner cell at the very bottom. And then we have health on the left hand side and then relationship. And we have a uh, finance toward the the top and um i would like to you to i would like to invite you to, to draw with me if you have a pen and paper let's uh let redraw the uh the house and um and this can be your house everybody all right And uh, at the very bottom, let's uh, let's draw, let's write inner self. And on the left hand side, let's write health. And on the right hand side, we like to write relationship. And 
and uh, at the top, let's uh, have some fun and write a dollar sign. Now, well, let's write three of them. Who doesn't like money, right? And on the uh, right hand side, let's write finance. All right, so if we were to sim simplify all problem in life or all the thing that people who are working very hard trying to accomplish or trying to materialize, it will fall under one of these four category. It's either the inner self or the health or finance or relationships. And um, there is a huge connection between the four because if you have, um, let's say if you have good health, right? You you will feel better. So your inner cell will, will feel good. And because you are feeling good, because you have good health, your relationship is better. You know, let's say if you are, your family or, or friends is having a bad day or they are uh, or something, but you are still happy because you are healthy and you feel good about yourself and you would be able to build that strong relationship. And because you have good health, you have, you feel good about yourself and you have strong relationship, it is very easy to, to, to have a good financial as well. And there is a very famous saying is, is said that it is not about what you know. It is about who you know. So the people that you know um, can bring good fortune to you. They can bring opportunity to you. And uh, from then, they uh, will be able to help you with your business venture and all of it. So there's a very, very strong connection between the four. And if you can, if you can, uh, if you can be really good at all of these four, then that will surely help you acquire. I would say the holistic life or the holistic wealth. So let me go ahead and write that down. And this is the. Uh, and this is the um, the most important things. This is actually the main um, the main topic of uh, what we are sharing. So I would like I would like to invite you to to write it down if uh, if you have a pen and paper. Because when we write it down, we will remember it better. So it is the seven <laughs> holistic. Holistic. Wealth. So why why is it so important that uh, we have to have, we have to live a life? Why do we uh, have to go in for a holistic things? And um, let me share that with you. We have a house up here, right? To make it clearer, let's. Um, Let's draw a hexagon in the middle. And then from there, let's connect it to the house. And then in the in the middle, I will write the word virtue. And then right underneath it, let's write the word wisdom. And on top, material. And on 
over here. It's pretty long word, so uh, I'm gonna try to write it smaller, everybody, because it will be a capacity. Uh, I think it should be a capability, actually, capability. And down here, it will be nobility. Nobility. And over here is presence. And up top, we will have the word physique. All right. I uh, would like to uh, present to you the seven holistic wealth. And uh, every time I write this word, is it put a smile on my face, you know, because this is this is very very amazing. If uh, if you were here yesterday, I was sharing uh, the story of of Donald Trump, and um, the amazing thing about that story, and because it is so amazing, I would like to tell that again because I can see that uh, we have uh, a lot of new uh, friends here with us today, so. Uh, one story that I am that I am very very fascinated with is the story of Mr. Donald Trump. He uh, he was a he was a very uh, very famous uh, real estate investor in New York in uh, 1970 1980s, and he was already a billionaire back then through uh, real estate and. I don't know about you, but I can't even imagine how much a billion is. And uh, back in the 70s, back in the 80s, I think a billion dollar back then is, was likely similar to $10 billion in today's currency. But in 19, um, in the in early 1990s, when um, the real estate market crashed, Donald Trump he uh, he lost everything, okay? And let this sink in. Imagine that you are Donald Trump. Imagine that you have $1 billion. And the morning after, because of the, uh, the crash, not only that you lost everything, okay? You lost that $1 billion. And to make it easier to imagine, imagine that everything that you own just a few hours ago, everything that you own, your house, your car, your business, your money in the bank, imagine not only all of that disappeared, you had nothing, not only that, whatever that you own, right? Whatever you, whatever money that you have, you are owing that much to the bank and that was the story of, of donald trump he was a billionaire but not only he lost his billion he he was actually owing to the bank close to another billion dollar and um during that time a lot of his uh, real estate friends was in the same situation sadly a lot of them even killed themselves a lot of them gave up on their their business but not Donald Trump. He know exactly who he is. He have a very strong inner self. And um, he uh, he was strong enough to, to go through all of the hardship. He made up in his mind that he will be able to bounce back from this. He had the knowledge, he had the relationship and if he was able to do it before, he will be able to do it again. So what happened is that Mr. Donald Trump, he made up his mind only within six months, he was able to sign a very, very big contract. And through that contract, only three years later, he was able to make $3 billion, okay? $3 billion in three years. That is $1 billion in one year. So not only that he, uh, he paid back all of his debt. He was able to double the money that 
he was having prior to that. And um, he later, later became um, one of the presidents of the United States. And that, my friend, is very, very important because let's think about this, okay? And I, I mentioned this yesterday, but it, it is so important that I would like to, to mention it again. The amazing thing about that story is there is a huge relationship. There is a huge relationship between finance and inner self. There's a huge relationship between our relationship and our inner self. And for the story of Mr. Trump, his inner self, his relationship and his health, his health could only support the amount of money, the finance, the responsibility of about a billion. And this is actually just my theory, and I've seen this a lot. So the second that he got a little bit more than he can handle, the whole thing collapsed. It's just like the house, right? The foundation is important. You have to have a, a strong foundation in order to build a very tall building, a skyscraper. And that is the reason that it might take years to build the foundation. But once the foundation of the, the very tall building, the skyscraper, once the foundation is completed, you can build the, the building as tall as you want to. So for the example of Mr. Donald Trump, he could only support about a billion dollar back then. He didn't want it. He didn't have what it take to to grow further, and the entire thing collapsed. But then, uh, but then he go back to the drawing board, and he was able to grow larger. Okay, he was able to break through his sixth barrier to grow larger. And let me write the word transformation here because that, that's what I missed. Trans or I was gonna write transforming or transformation, but transform is good enough. He was able to transform himself. And uh he was able to become a bigger man. He be, he was able to become more successful. And since we are talking about Mr. Donald Trump, you know, let's let's use him as an example. Prior to his success, he also had problems with relationship with his wife. And later, when uh, when the real estate market crashed, he had problem with the relationship as well. But he was quickly fixing it, quickly breaking through all of the barriers, the six barriers in the inner cell, the six barriers in relationship, the six barriers in health. And uh, he did the amazing thing. He was able to earn back what he had, double in it. And this is the importance of understanding the seven holistic wealth. Because it's not just a simple four category. You have to have all seven of this holistic well in order to, to keep your, your word together. Okay. Your word is like a house. It needs a strong foundation. It needs health. It needs relationship. And it is also needing money and is this journey we will work on our inner self we will build a very very strong inner self we will build a very strong foundation and through that foundation we will be able to build our skyscraper we will be able to have great health great relationship great finance and in order to do that we need to understand the seven holistic wealth. All right. And I'm not going to, into 
to detail of uh, what virtue is, what material is, what capability, what nobility, what wisdom, what present, what proceed is. But throughout the course, we will uh, define it. We will help you truly understand it. And you know why we are at this. If you can, if you can help me, uh, write on the chat or raise your hand to interact. Let me ask you this: What do you think present is? Because one of my friends was asking me yesterday, like, what is, what is, presence? Why are you using the word present in the corner of the house? What present has to do with health and inner self? It is a very very big question. So, if anyone can can type on it, if not, it's fine because uh, I I will share with you anyway. But just thinking about it for a minute, just ask the question. Because asking questions is very important. You you never know, you know, because a lot of time when you we ask the question, we have the answer. So presence is, I'm going to tell you in a little bit. Okay, like what I am having right now, I am having a presence in this room here. You can feel my presence. You can hear my voice. You can see me. You can see me talking. So I have a presence in this Zoom call, and uh, and thanks for listening to me. You know, because if if you are not here, then I'm pretty much just talking to myself. But thanks for everyone for being here, so I can have presence in this Zoom, and I can feel your presence in this Zoom too. Like Sun E, I can see your camera here. I can see uh, Bet Young here and Jasmine. And um, that's that is your present. Even some of you don't even turn on your your video, but I can feel your present. I can still see your smile in my in my mind because you are such my uh, my dear friends who uh, who go in on this journey with me. And that is the important present. And this that is the amazing thing of presence. And thinking about this, right? If you if you ever met anyone who is important, let's say your teacher or your boss at work, or even your your loved one, you know, even your father, your mother, they all have a present. So I would like to invite you to imagine to thinking about someone you love. So for me, um, I love my my father very much. He is the one that provided me a lot of opportunity, a lot of support in uh, in all four of his category. And um, and every time that uh, he walk into a room, I can feel his presence. I can feel kindness. I can feel love. Or let's say um, if you if I were to be in a room with uh, the president of the United States, right? I had never been, but let's just say, for example, I would feel his presence. And um, the crazy thing is back in um, 2004, I was just watching TV, right? And uh, and there was a program on TV and it's, um, and the president, Mr. Obama, President Obama was, was making a speech and he just walked into the room and all of a sudden I can feel his presence. I can feel how great he is. And then later when he went to visit Vietnam, when he uh, he go to one of those restaurants, you know, like to eat like bún chả and stuff. And uh, the second that he walked into the room, the entire atmosphere changes. And that is the power of the presence. Or better yet, imagine if you um, you have someone in your life that can make you uh, smile all the time. You know, always joking around, making you laugh. If you if you just take a second to thinking about that person, even though they're not even here, you can feel the presence. You can feel the energy that they are bringing in, and that is very very amazing. There's one saying that I learned um, from a very successful business man. He said that in order to make 
a million dollar, you have to become a millionaire first. And I was super puzzled when I, when I heard that. Like, what are you talking about? You know, you you need a million dollar in order to to be called a millionaire, right? That is literally the definition from from the dictionary. But he said no. In order, he said that in order to make a million dollars, you have to become a millionaire first. <sighs> what he was saying, what he was saying is that you have to have the presence of a millionaire first. And through that energy, through the energy of a millionaire, you will be able to attract other things. You will be able to be a relationship with the right presence, right? You will feel better about yourself. You will have the right inner self. With the right presence, you will have the right health. And through that, you will be able to attract the financial that you need. And this is just one out of the seven holistic wealth. And I'm not even going into detail, everybody. I'm just... I'm just borrowing the reality of successful people who truly have the present. And um, and this is a little bit uh kind of like uh darkness, okay? But sometimes we we kind of know what darkness is in order to to find a uh, light. And um uh, and you know what? Sometimes like when I when I meet a person. I know that this person is dangerous. I don't know if you ever if you ever have like that feeling. But if you if you can truly understand present, you can feel it, right? You can feel that uh, someone is kind of dangerous, and that can save your life. And you need to you need to trust your instinct, because in this meeting, it's myself like I am I am sharing information that you might not know of, but. The beautiful thing is you already you already have this information. You can apply it. I'm just reminding you that you are having this information. But understanding present deeply is super important. And I'm going to repeat that again. Sometime in life, when you uh, when you see somebody, or you can feel that somebody walking into the room, and you can feel that oh, that person is kind of dangerous. And uh, the situation is kind of escalating to to something that might not be good for me. Run away. I do that all the time. And uh, the expert was uh, telling me this as well. So understanding present is super, super important. It will keep you safe. It will give you the right energy to attract things that you wanted, whether it is relationship or whether it is finance. And um, having the right present, you will do things more effectively. Just like what I am doing right now, okay? My present is a presenter. I am focused 100% being a presenter. And uh, I... I'm sure, and I hope that you can you can feel my presence, you can feel my energy. And doing that, I can do the best that I can. Okay, some people can just call it focus or focus on studying or focus on your work. A better way to thinking about it is having a presence. Okay, having a present as a student or a learner, you will learn better. Having the presence of a teacher, you will be a better teacher. Have the presence of a father, you will be a better father. Having the presence of a mother, you will be a better mother, and so on. And a lot of time we forgot about it. Okay, we forgot to to be a good friend. We forgot to be a good son or daughter, or we forgot to be a good father, a good mother. But understanding just one word, presence, we will learn to be truly present rather than doing one thing. And our mind is occupied. Our mind is somewhere else. 
And you see, you see how amazing this is, just one word. And there's so much that uh so much that uh, that we can do. And again, if you have any question, if there's anything that you want to share, we can uh definitely uh go back to this and and again, there is no way that I can share like all seven holistic well just in in one hour, but I I really want to uh, to mention the importance of this so that uh, throughout the program, we will um, often go in back to this and we will have a clearer understanding of this. And uh, you know what? If we can materialize the seven holistic wealth, we will live a very happy, a very meaningful life. And this is, this is my mission. And I invite you to join me on this mission as well, because we will help everyone close to us acquire the seven holistic wealth so they can be independent with their inner cell. They can be independent with their health. They can be independent with their relationship and they can be independent with their finance. And I know we go over a lot of good stuff already, but uh, there is uh, another thing that I would like to share. But I can see Jasmine is raising her hand. So uh, go ahead, Jasmine. Thanks for sharing with us again. Hi, Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here with us. And thank you for thank you ben for sharing this uh, seven holistic wealth with us. Um, I saw Sister Kinhua has a comment on the chat box that um, she says, my opinion, persons can be understood as persons of physical body, not just days of inner of a person. Um, do you have any comment about this, Ben? Oh yeah, that uh, that was uh, exactly what I was talking about as well. So let me bring back the the paper. So having the presence, presence is one of the very in interesting thing out of the the uh, the seven holistic wealth, because, and that's the uh, the information that I was about to to go in next as well because. Throughout these seven holistic well, we will divide it into uh, two category, just to uh, just for us to to understand it easier. So while we are at it, let's let's go ahead and, and do with that because uh, it will help answer the question clearer. And and thank you, Yi Kim Ha, for for asking that question. That is perfect because that's what we are going to do right now. So just like uh, the Kim Hoa said about physical or non-physical, the word that I would like to use is, hmm, let me use a different color. Let's use green. I will call it material. Okay. And A T E. R I material. So under the category of material, we will have capability. We will have Physic. We will have material. And I'm going to explain you why I write material twice. And I'm just going to say it right now. The material that I am writing right now is announced as in your house, your car, the money that you own. And uh, the material on the left here is actually an adjective, which means that uh, something that has the, uh, the element of a material, like a material, uh, like capability, physique, and material. So these are the things that we can... Uh, that we can measure 
And that's why it's under the, the category of material. And just to make it clear, let me just go ahead and write a word noun. And over here, let's write the word adjective. Make sure that I write it right, adjective, okay. All right. So these are actually the things that we can measure. And just like uh, Mr. Kim, Ms. Uh, Kim Hart said, I'm, I'm going to read her chat. She said that my opinion present can be understood at present of physical body, not just the state of an inner of a person. Exactly, exactly right. Because let me bring back the uh, the house. And uh, we can call this a wit house, okay? Or you can call it your house, Ben house, or uh, Kim Hua house, Jasmine house, me house, V house, Jesse's house. As you can see, the present is in the corner of the house, which means that it has some element of the inner self, and it also has some element of health. Therefore, yes. Present of the physical body and not just the inner self. And thanks, Mr. Ms. Kim Hua, for paying attention to the detail. There, there is a clear intention to put the word present in this corner and wisdom that connecting to the inner self or nobility of how it's connecting the inner cell and relationship or capability has connecting the relationship and finance or how material focusing very much on finance itself or physique, you know, it is good health and through a good physique, it can, it can generate money as well. So these seven holistic, well, it is, it is going together and it's keeping your house together, your life together, and having the whole the seven holistic well, you will have a holistic life. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and write that down as well. Holistic. Wealth equal to. Let's write it. We'll ask here because we know seven. Ho. Oh, I think I write an extra uh, list here. Excuse me, everyone. <laughs> uh, holistic life. Right. And in order to acquire all seven of the um, holistic wealth, let's write it was seven here. to acquire the uh, holistic life, we need to understand the two bigger category, which is material and uh, immaterial. So contrary to material down here, let's write the word in, and we'll check the spelling in material. So what is falling under the uh, the category of a material? I would put it. Um, I would put wisdom here. And why I'm writing this, I, I want I want everybody to to thinking about this as well. Okay, like why why do we put these in in these two category? And then presence.
and virtue. and nobility. All four of this fall under the M material. And to make it clear, this is also an adjective. And back to you, uh, Ms. Kim Hwak question, you know, present is can be understood that physical body is not just an inner state of a person. So why is present being put under the immaterial? Let's highlight because this is what we are not gonna focus on. So uh, why is it, why is present falling under the immaterial. Super cool, right? So that'd be important. And uh and yeah, it is very special. And that's why I talked about it. And that's why uh, I'm mentioning it first. And that is why I, I I gave all of the example of how successful people was able to accomplish what they wanted if they were to focus on presence. All right. If you want to be a legendary, uh, uh, let's say, a seller, you have to have a presence of a legendary seller. If you want to be a billionaire, you will have to have the presence of a, a millionaire. I was going to say billion because that is actually one of my uh, one of my goal. Or well, let's say if you want to be um, the president of the United States, right? You will have to have the presence of the president of the United States. So yes, a lot of time it's it feel like it's physical, it's feel like it's material because you feel like you can measure it, right? Like in a debate, for example, let's say two people were discussing a topic, you feel like you can measure who is the winner. You can you might you, you might feel like you can measure it. You can you will like hey maybe I like Mr. A better than Mr. B or I, I like the first guy better than the second guy. I feel like he has more presence, and you can feel like you can measure it. But at the same time, yeah, you you can't quite grab all of it. There's still something very mysterious about it, right? Because let's use the let's use the example up. A millionaire, for example, so that we can we can measure it, because millionaire is what millionaire is just a person who have a million dollar, right? A million dollar cast. You are a millionaire, so you can measure it. But what immaterials about a millionaire is that like, what does he do to to have that presence? What is his mindset? You know, what is his habit? What is his action? What is his character? What does he do? What is his ritual? Does he wake up at 4:30 in the morning? Does he exercise? You know, does he do uh breathing exercises? And those are very hard to to measure. And my friends, that is the reason that uh a lot of us are not millionaire yet because we we don't quite understand the entire things. We don't quite understand the immaterial of of that presence. But you know what? Good news is through this program, we will be able to to materialize the immaterial, and that is the important thing in this lesson as well. Let me make that clear. You will want to materialize the immaterial. Okay. And you will want to immaterialize material. Why am I saying that? I am saying that because 
the example of the the millionaire. If you can understand all of the thing, everything that the millionaire need to do in order to to make a million dollar, just like the 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 popular the famous saying that in order to make a million dollar, you have to become a millionaire first. That person is a millionaire. I read his book, okay? <laughs> and uh, he actually materialized all of this immaterial. He tell you exactly what you need to do, how, what kind of ritual that you need to do, like how you need to wake up early, you need to read books, you need to make your bed, you need to uh, build relationship. So he was able to name it. He was able to materialize the immaterial. He make it so that others can understand it like myself. I did not understand any of that in the past, but through the information, I was able to materialize all of that information so that I can start practicing it, so I can start applying it. And I can see Jasmine raising her hand. So go ahead, Jasmine. Thank you, Ben, again. Um, I have not really a question, but I just want to make sure if what I understand is correctly. Um, so I understand that in order for us to have this presence aura, um, we do need to have a wisdom first um, because in order for us to have this aura, like the present aura, um, or everybody can feel our energy. So present can also mean to me that that is the energy that people bring up. Um, people feel other people's energy and other people feel our energy. That's the presence when we present. Um, so in order for us to, to have this presence, we do need to have this, this virtue. And wisdom is the number one key um for us to have first because like you um like the example you said earlier when the president obama um step into the room everybody feel his presence because he is the president of the united states he had this wisdom he had this virtue that everybody can feel and he also had the nobility However, the main key that I feel in your presentation when uh, the whole presentation would be wisdom. In order for somebody to have the present, they do need to have the wisdom. Because a person who have a full wisdom also have the full present. And a person who have, you know, um, a respectable wisdom, um, you know, a wise wisdom or a, basically a person who have you know, high wisdom, um, humble and stuff like that, then people also feel the presence of that person. They feel the humbleness. So um, is my understanding correctly then? Can you um, help me out with this? Yeah, that is exactly right. And if you can see my my paper here, what Jasmine uh, was saying is, and uh, by the way, if you are, uh, listening to this from YouTube, we're not going to have all this drawing. So I would encourage you to, to just join us on the live uh, section. I think it will be easier to uh, to interact and you will understand this better. Maybe you can see my the paper that I draw here. What Jasmine was saying is that you have to have wisdom and virtue in order to have a present. So through what Jasmine was saying that to wisdom, right, right here. Let me uh, let me mark it so uh, so that we can see it better through wisdom and through virtue. Then we can materialize presence, and that is exactly right. And we will uh, we will go into detail why that is sometime in this course. But uh, I can share quickly here as well, is that using the example of how to become a, a millionaire, right? 
the the millionaire person that um that I have the privilege to 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 hear his interview and to read his book. He was able to acquire the wisdom of a millionaire. He was able to acquire the virtue of a millionaire. He was able to materialize it. And he used the wisdom and the virtue to materialize what we need to have the present. And because he was able to material wisdom, present, and virtue, it is easier for others to understand it and to apply it because the goal of his book is to help other becoming a millionaire. And uh, I just see uh, Jasmine type here. Do you think when people have wisdom, they will have a present aura? And that is exactly right too, you know? And this is one of the important things about this class because we are working on our inner self. And by working on our inner self, we will work on our wisdom. We will work on our virtue. And we will have a present aura. And this is a form of energy. This is super important. And uh, it's pretty amazing how we are, we are going over, over a lot of this topic today. Because this is, this is very, very important, everybody. Because just like the, um, the popular saying, in order to make a million dollars, you have to be a millionaire first. You you need a present first so all the people can feel it. So when you walk into the room, people would know that, hey, this guy is a millionaire. I can trust him with my money. I can trust him with my project. I know that he can do it. And if you can look back to my story of Mr. Donald Trump in the beginning of the uh, the presentation, okay? He might show that he had the presence of a billionaire, but he was not a billionaire back in 1990s. That's why he lost all of it when the market crashed. This is super important. This is super important about present. Once you understand present, you will be able to recognize great people, right? Because there are important people that you need to recognize. And later in this uh, program, I will share with, with you the nine important people that you need to recognize. And how do you recognize them? You recognize them through their present. You can see their present. You can feel it. And this will help you so much because you will it will help you stay out of trouble, first of all, right? And then it will help you to find the right opportunity, find the right people to help you. With the right present, with the deep understanding of present, even though it's all the way to the left corner of the house, understanding this, it will actually helping you build good relationship as well. Because with good health, it has a, a direct influence on relationship. Okay, let me let me bring back this people's favor. And I know we are running out of time, but this is so important. I would like to end on this as well. You see, even though present is in the corner, but it's supporting health and inner cell. And as you can see, there's a very, very, unique relationship between health and relationship. There's a very, there's a clear relationship between inner self and relationship. So by having presence in this corner here, it will help you with relationship. It will surely help you with your finance because there is a strong connection between all four of this category. And that my friends is the important of uh, this program is the important of us being here, of us sharing this with the entire world. Because I know there are people out there, they might be very good at making money, 
but they lose their relationship, you know, they get divorced or they don't have good relationship with their friends and loved one, or they don't even have good health, or sometimes they don't, don't even feel good about themselves. So their life is not holistic. But in this program here, we will we will acquire the seven holistic well. We will have a holistic life and we deserve it. Other people deserve it. And that's why we are doing this. All right. And uh, usually I would like to, to end the, uh, the the Zoom call at uh, in one hour because I know my friends in Vietnam had to go to, uh, to sleep and uh, my friends in the U.S. had to go to work. So uh, if anyone have anything to share, um, we can do that quickly. If not, I'm going to pass the mic back to you, Jasmine, and I'm going to get my song ready. Oh, I can see Mr. Kim Hua say something here. It wasn't a question, just an opinion, even though I agree with present is a beautiful word. can be explained within that house in such a way, but this definition simply needs to be clear on its own without referring to inside of the house of having too much explanation of its meaning. Okay, but if you can find like, a better word for it, um, I'm open to to having a better word because I am trying to uh, get the best word as well. But uh, so far, there's a very uh, powerful meaning behind the present. So if we can find something better, yeah, um, I'm all for it. And Jesse said here, as a quote that I heard, present determines happiness and suffering, success or failure. Due to conception. Yep. All right. Well, I'm gonna pass the mid to uh, to Jasmine, and thanks to everyone for interacting. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a song ready so we can uh, go out with some uh, music. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for everybody to being here today, and also thank you, uh, uh, Sister Kim Hua and Sister Jesse, for uh, you know. Um, interacting with Ben and uh, helping us to understand more about this topic today. This topic is quiet. Um, it's because it's more like, you know, not like an idea. This topic is really clear um, to a lot of us. However, it's still, um, it's still like immaterial to a lot of audio audience today. So, um, and we would like to invite you to continue listen to our um, our sharing our presentation every day, uh, because this is this may be new to you, but if you continue listen to our presentation every day, or we listen to other uh, presentation that Ben had shared with us in the past couple of days, you will be able to understand this topic in the near future. Um, this information or this knowledge is a profound um, understanding of, you know, how our lives work. And of course, we um, had never learned it from elsewhere before. So to us, this is very much an um, idea. Uh, however, I promise you, if you keep listening to all of this material, um, you're going to understand it because there is a technical term for um, uh, learning is called a spiral. Spiral means that you, when you learning and you continue learning the same topic, or like if you read a book and you continue reading a book, uh, the same book, you're going to get something out of it. So I promise all of you that when you continue learning about this, um, in you know English and Vietnamese, you're going to go in deep with this knowledge. And um, I see a lot of uh, thanks to you very much. Um, I, I see a lot of jazz in the jazz box, but it seems like, I don't know if anybody want to raise the hand and uh, share something with Ben and the audience today so we can all learn. 
um, to help them improve and also help our organization to understand more what you have in mind. Um, it's, <clears throat> sorry, it's early in the morning here where I live. So um, if anybody can share with us what you can think, we would appreciate that. If not, then Ben can, um, you know, share with us good music, and then we can be um, done for today. Oh, I saw Miss Kim Hoang raising her hand. Hello, Ben. Hello, everyone, and thank you, uh, beautiful MC, for ten, for ten, tonight or uh, today. <laughs> anyway, um. A good job, Ben. I uh, I try to uh, challenge you and give you a tough time and see how you handle it. And I think you did very well. And you uh, apply a lot of um of things that we learn from our teacher or our master, however you want to call him. Um, that you don't have to satisfy all the audience. Because are people, you know, they have a different karma. They have a different um different uh, things uh, so they don't get your knowledge or your lesson uh, the same way and uh, you don't let them uh, to uh, <laughs> break you down so I just want to give you um, the hat off for that um, you pass <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, just, uh, just want to let you know this is also the lesson for me to learn because uh, it it uh, you know we all have the knowledge because we 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 learn from the same source and we we study a lot, but how to how to bring it and how to share it how to transfer it to other people so they can receive the value that we have earned uh, it's a different story. Um, so I just want to give you um, you know compliment. That's all, and uh, thank you again for always uh, go ahead and being the first one. Uh, thank you for for your bravery, and thank you for everyone. Um, you know, uh, spend your time here to listen to us every day, and uh, your support is helping us to improve every day. So, just want to say thanks to Ben and everyone. That's all. Uh, thank you very much for your kind word, uh, Jiha, and uh, you always uh, take care of us, you know, so uh, whatever you say, I know that it is good for us, so <laughs> it's a little <laughs> different compared to other. If people were to give me a hard time, it might be uh, different, but uh, I'm all about love and kindness, so uh, I think I will be uh, okay, but uh, you know what, everybody, the reason that uh, I am doing this, because just like Mr. Kim Hwa said, I might uh, have a good presentation to some people, but other people might not like it. And uh, they might need you to share it with them rather than listening to me. So never underestimate what you can do. And um, my goal for uh, having this uh, program is to uh, provide you the information needed to encourage you, to encourage everyone to to share this with others when the time is right, because you never know when that time will come. You might be uh, able to save lives with this information. And um, and it is very important. This is it's gonna make your life better. It will make the world a better place. And you know what? Holistic life, holistic Well, why not, right? So, uh, it's Jasmine raising her hand. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, feel free to, to unmute. Um, well, I saw um, Sister Tin Hua ask, do you think about this word state of mind? Um, I, well, let, can I answer this question then? And then you can help me out. Yeah, sure, it. sure. So I fully understand um, the word presence because it's more powerful than anything else. Uh, present, not just like, um, just a state of mind, but also how we, how people see us as well. So state of mind is inside our mind. You know, like people can see the inside, but people can see the outside. So when Ben knew the word present, I agreed with him a lot. It's just that I want 
everybody to understand that in order to have this presence, people not only have the state of mind where they have trained themselves or they have achieved the emptiness state of mind, like in the Buddhism, there's the emptiness state of mind. Um, so, or like emptiness state, that is like the highest cultivation of all of the monks or all of the cultivator they have achieved through cultivation. So they, when people have inner state of mind or like the peaceful state of mind, of course, everybody can see the present, but some people, you know, call themselves that they have achieved that state of mind, but in reality, when people look at them, they were like, I don't think that person had achieved that state of mind because I can see the frustration. I can feel their energy. I can feel their present. You know, they are in conflict. They say that they achieved that person, but they are in conflict. And we can feel it. We can see it, how they interact with other people. So the present word that Ben used today is such a powerful word because not only it explains about the inner state, but it also shows the physical state as well. So that I, I understand. I just want to, you know, like give a little bit spy so everybody can, you know, see that, you know, talk about present, but we do need to have the wisdom and we do need to have the virtue because that's kind of like connecting with each other. You know? However, again, um, this is a profound topic and we would need to go into multiple lessons and multiple class in order for us to fully understand. Um, and I'm going to get back to my to Ben and thank you Ben for allowing me to answer this question. Yeah, thank you. Uh... Thanks for uh, your sharing, for your perspective, uh, Jasmine. And thanks, uh, Ms. Tian Man, for uh, sharing the words they of mine, or Jesse here, because I'm, I'm reading the chat from my phone. Then uh, this man uh, commenting about the word in the state, same as Ms. Kim Hua. And um, you know what? There is no right or wrong. Whichever definition that feels right to you, use it, because the most important person is you yourself. And uh, this presentation is about inner self, which means you, yourself. So whichever name that uh, best for you to you, use it. Don't, don't let other people influence you. And just a, a funny secret, uh, my real name is, in Vietnamese is actually a cotton. But when, uh, when I go to the U.S., American people call me Khan, like Genghis Khan, you know. So the two sound is different, but uh, but I'm still me. So whatever name that you would like to to use, as long as you can, as long as you can feel the essence of it, right? When you when you call me Ben, you know that oh, it's it's the band in front of you, or even if you call me Khan or Khan, it's it's still the same person. So the important thing is is about the understanding and not about the name because a lot of time people people use a name to call something, but they they don't truly understand it. Better yet, they they misunderstood it. And we'll go we will go deeper into this. So the goal is to understand our inner self. The the goal is to understand the information and uh, and apply it. You know, so just like in Vietnamese language, we have different words for different region. For uh, English, is similar to different region have different meaning. Even in the U.S., there's the South and then the East Coast, West Coast, the the Midwest, you know, the North, and then we have England and we have Australia and New Zealand. They they speak English funny, in my opinion, but hey, it's fine. But if you go to Singapore, they they talk different too, which is fine. But uh, the truth, the truth never changes. The principle never changes. Okay, and this what we are. Uh, this is what we are focusing on. This is what we are holding on. We are holding on the principle, and together we will be able to acquire the seven holistic wealth, and we will get that holistic life. And uh. I know it's kind of late, so let's go out with some music. All right. Just one word. Um, 
Okay. The final word. Uh, just a minute now. All right. I'm yeah. very glad that that's what I'm expecting. Um, you said what you just said. Exactly. It's not about language. It's about what we understand and how we apply it. And he said it. He said it out loud. The same thing. It's just a name. Just like the same thing. You can call him Ben or Khan or whatever. Just don't call him late for dinner. That's the whole thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Uh, That's really yeah. good job that you uh, you have that final thing that we are looking for that we learn a lot from our master. Uh, yeah, just a language. Yeah, thank you. But the uh, recommendation that just you the way is simple. I know. I I absolutely understand the powerful presence, but we try to use its own definition that how it is, and then later down the road, and you can show it. That how powerful it is, but at this point, I think that's great. So thank you. All right, let's go out with some music. Thanks, okay. everybody. All right, and uh, yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm.